Hello, in this video we are going to state Zorn's lemma. So Zorn's lemma. And the way I'm going to state it is going to require some background, but don't worry, we're going to go over the background. So hopefully um, it helps. Okay, so Zorn's lemma, every non-empty inductive set has a maximal element. So that is Zorn's lemma. So, so now an NT is pretty easy. What does inductive set and what is a maximal element? So we have that here. So here is the definition of an inductive set. So a partially ordered set S is called inductive if any chain in S has an upper bound in S. A chain is basically a totally ordered um, subset, right? So uh, if every totally ordered subset. Uh, so yeah, so a chain, every chain has an upper bound. And then here, a maximal element, well, it's just the biggest element basically, right? So um, little m is called a maximal element if for every x, if m is less than or equal to x, well, that can't be the case. It's the maximal element, so it's got to be equal to x. So m can't be less than. So if you have this situation, you know m is equal to x because m is maximal, right? That's by maximality. Um, that's, an, that's it's called maximality of m. And when you study ideals, um, there's a lot of things that are very similar to this very um, same thing. Zorn's lemma, every non-empty inductive set has a maximal element. So there it is. Take care.